Hello, one and all, to this flight simulator slash RPG experience, Aeronautica. My name is Carl, and we have a new update after three days. Version 1.153. Please pause the video to read the update notes. Brogan probe aerial refueling. NF Center model, Faro Islands, the Caredes 160 Freighter, Supersonic Transport Mastery, 160 flight hours? Hmm. This should be straightforward. Alright, so the Brigade 941 moved from Kirsten Field to Anexon. Was it Kirsten Field? And then from Annex International, the Convair B-58A and XC-99 to Annexon. Same from Annexon, the DC-8 cargo freighter, uh, <laughs> yeah, the freighter. And from Kitesport International, the Yokosuka R2Y1 to Tosunai. All right then, and there's a patch with some small fixes, but for posterity, we will join an older server. Let's see, 10 hours, 9.74 hours. Let's go for the younger one, Foxtrot Charlie, 9679er. That's a lot of B-29s. Oh, it's, is that Doc? Alright. And this is pr practically the same. Like, the pause. There's the window there, August 8th. This one, August 11th. Is it, was it too fast? All right, so we're here at Villabada International Airport, the pseudo Trubavon in Kathmandu, Nepal. And I was doing a job change with the Concorde when this came out. Oh, look at that. It just fell off. The boarding stairs. So this is the same Concorde, we overhauled it. Now then, let's go to Annexon. So, which one has Annexon? Alright. We'll use this. The Lockheed C-130H Hercules of the Royal Australian Air Force. Well, sold by Dollar Boats. What do you think of this livery? Not much detail. But it's special. Yeah, these blades should have some extra colors. But now let's just go to Edison. So here we are. So this used to be the pseudo Palmerston North in New Zealand. Now it's somewhere in the Faroe Islands. But where? Boarding stairs. Where do you think the, the flying boats and boats spawn? It's 
sea flames. And with the new airport comes a new job. Here it is, the Anderson Fjord Run. Fly as fast as you can through NSX's iconic fjords. The faster you complete, the more rewards. And we would recommend using fighter planes. Oh, there's a maximum distance 68 kilometers. This so one, 202. Not much capacity. All right. Let's go to the dealership. And what do we have here? A Dieter Crew Boat 1000. Utility boat. What colors do you suggest for this? Even though it has advanced liveries. So for quick measure, color one, it's most of the body, color two, it's the top, the keel area, and the, the bottom, and color three. Where is color three? Oh, the flag. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> transparent. So here's your crew boat 1000. Right, you've noticed the planes move there. They, oh, we'll go, yes, we go back to the dealership. All right, so here from Here's in field, the Breget Nusef Karatemu. And you should say aircraft gray for posterity. But I get 941. No second on the moon. This has to have a remodel or liveries, but Right, what's next? Yes, Kirsten Field. So, how can we go to Kirsten Field? This one, perhaps? Oh, it's resold. All right, where's Kirsten? Oh. All right. So you have to have a paint. That's not Kirsten. Here we go. An F-35A Lightning II of the Royal Australian Air Force. What do you think? Tractor wanted to sell a kit, but I've asked him to paint a any Air Force. I don't think the Royal Air Force had one, but maybe. A, but yeah, see, Australian does. Alpha three five dash zero one zero. And here is Kirsten Field. And and some cargo ships. What airport in the Nordica region do you think is based on? Tall houses. (laughs) 
metrics. Hmm. What math classes are these? All right, that's all for Kirsten. We are at the wrong timing here to look at the daytime, so. Now let's go to Camp Cygnus. How do we get to Camp Cygnus? I need to resold. Hmm. We'll use a max stone. And the new and improved Camp Cygnus. Just pave or ice. And no taxiway to drive. Just this little apron here. And where are the animals? Oh, there's an igloo. And where are the polar bears? I see penguins. the artistry. <laughs> Just simple blocks. Where did the polar bears go? And there's Camp Cygnus. Finally, Solange. Now how do we get to Solange? We'll use this seed art. The United States Navy livery. In a museum. On to Solange, Arctic Research Station. And it's situated inside a cave. Tractors, dump truck, and some chalets. So I think the research station is under construction or not. So this is probably helicopters only. Or can small planes land? There's the wind farm. And a spawn for boats or seaplanes. And another helipad. Is this snow sepa? And here is the Solange Arctic Research Station. Or the foundations for it. Alright. On to the new aircraft. Let's start at Yuncho Peihai International Airport, the pseudo Peking Taxing. So we'll use this for teleportation, the big Boeing 737-800 with a Starline special livery of Air China. It's been painted by Bluebin Adversary before selling to yours truly.
What do you think? Robert Dash 5425. Does this compare with the real plane? Good detail. Generic wing side E. Let's move to the vehicle. And here is Pseudo Toshing. Along with it, our first new aircraft, Airbus A319 Neo. Oh, okay, this is color one, color two, the winglets, the fairings, vertical stabilizer. Color three, it's just a horizontal stabilizer. Aircraft gray. So, A319. Leave the A319 for now. I just we'll tackle the neo coding later. Maybe recall this sometime. All right, we bought an A319 neo. Let's see the advanced customization. You want to add a SATCOM like the normal A319, and here's the radom, external, internal. For your nose, you want a Zoro mask, or metal frames, and with standard window panels or PPG airspace window panels. You can also change the engines, the CFM International Leaf 1A, also used in the Boeing 737 MAX variants, or the Proton Whitney PW 1100G. Also used in the A220. So the CFM, Proton Whitney, CFM, Proton Prod Whitney. You can also have one overwing exit or two overwing exits. One, two, and here you go, your A319. That was fast. Now, where is the A320 Neo? We'll have to teleport to Valois International. What should we use? A350? So here is the A350-1000 of Air Caribs. It's a Bostock Dash Hotel Tango Oscar Oscar. What do you think of this livery? Not much detail? Solid color. It looks good. Now let's teleport to Vawa and check the dealership. So we have a uh, not on stock <laughs> the Airbus A320 Neo. And the configuration is basically the same as the A319 Neo. Well, we'll just wait for it to get on stock. But now we have a actual on stock plane, the Boeing 747-300. And let's make this quick. Oh, come on, you reset.
Right. Okay, 11, 18, 21. So we have purchased the 747-300. You can convert it to the cargo variant. Boeing converted freighter. And it costs 135,000 money. So, here is your advanced customization for the 300. You want the CF650. You want the Rolls Force RB211. You want the improved CF6 ADC2. So here's the 50. Here's the ADC2. Or your typical product with the JT97. So it's just the cost of range. Then with Rolls Royce, you add some maximum speed. And the CF6, more range. So, really, it's just for visual, the cost of one kilometer of range. You can also convert the base variant, no, no, customize, rather. Customize the base variant to the shorter range, increasing the, well, improving your stall speed, the cost of a lot of range. And adds two more capacity. Any visual differences? There aren't any. And you can also change the wingtips. You want clean or high frequency antennae. So this is clean and the antennae. And there's your 747 300. Let's check the dealership if the... Oh, it's... It's been a while. But we'll come back to this. If you're 20 new, if it gets on stock, or we'll do that on another video. Alright, so the next one is at Linwood Air Force Base. What shall we use? This beluga? Hmm. It's just solid colors there, but it's the best thing for this plane. Or we can use this one. The Airbus A320-200 of American Airlines. And as requested by the Max Boy 4, it's American, but I think this is made in a rush. Registration. The wings ID. And oh, you don't need the One World logo at the starboard side. I hope someone would make an improved version of this American A320. Here, if they use the IE or CFM. Well, American uses both. To the dealership we go. And here's the the 100 variant. Boeing 747. What do we put here? Pan American? Well, let's make this quick. Aircraft white. Aircraft white. And aircraft gray. It's 50 capacity. Now then, we purchase the you can convert this to the cargo variant, or you can 
increase the passenger capacity by making it a stretch upper deck. So if we want an SR, Japan Airlines, or make it a special freighter. Now for advanced customization, we want the Prodding Whitney GT9D-3. Of course, most airlines. And there's the Rolls Royce RB211. For those Rolls Royce loyalists. There's also the General Electric CF6 50. And also, as usual, you got the wingtips, you want clean or high frequency antennae. And your base variant, you want a normal 100, 100B, there's no visual change, or the short range. There's still no visual difference there. Short range, it's increase the stall speed and add some capacity. And the B, you increase the range in exchange for increased stall speed. And uh, you want six windows or 20 windows, six, 20, six, 20. And the hump exit door, you want it only at the right or at the left or both. Oh, look at this. It, it just... If you choose both, all the others are also get darker. You want a high frequency fairing, you want to install it or not. So where's this high frequency HF fairing? So not install oh, this one. So it's like the SATCOM. There's your 747-100. Right, real quick, we'll go back to Valois and see if the A320neo is on stock. So let's sell it to somebody. And where is Valois? So what can we use? Another aircraft. Here's one, the 747 f Cargo Lux, or the 8 Freighter, also of Cargo Lux. But we'll hold on to this one. Let's teleport using this for a moment. And see if it's on... No, it's not on stock. Right. So on this Cargo Lux, we'll put advanced customization. And it's just a sack on. You want it clean or you want it installed. It's just plain white. Okay. Checking the jet photos. Lima X ray dash Victor Charlie Mike. Does it have a SATCOM or not? Hmm, I guess not. I was trouble loading the photo there, but in either case, it's just your only customization option for the 
a freighter. Well, let's just put it. <laughs> right, still not on stock. Let's put a marker of three dots. Right then. Let's go to the Boeing 747's special performance. Where can we find it? It's at Norman, pseudo Las Vegas, Harry Reid. And this one here, delivery of Sands Aviation. Victor Papa, dash, Bravo Lima, Kilo. What do you think? Need more texture? All right, so your engine, you can customize it to have the Proton VDJ-T97, or Dash 7. You want the Rolls-Royce RB211, Dash 524C, or the CF650. Hmm, I don't think the SV would be, would be customized with the General Electric. Uh, or it could be just a few aircraft. So normally it's either the Wolf Royce or the Prime Whitney. You want to you want to retain your high frequency antennae on your wingtips or not? Zero one zero one. Also the hump exit door. One on the left, one on the right, or both. Here's your SANS Boeing 747 Special Performance. Right, either way, we'll come back to this in a future video. Now for the 747-200. So we have the freighter, or the renamed properly with the B suffix. So we'll start first with the renamed with Tower Air. November 616, Foxtrot, Foxtrot. All right, there's a new cycle. We'll come back to the A320. We'll do this as fast as we can. So let's mass customization. The, you want to include the J JT90-7, JT or the Rolls-Royce, you want the CF6-50, and also the wingtips, no antennae, no high frequency antennae, you want 20 windows, or 6 windows, you want the right, the left, the right, or both, and that was quick. 
Now then, for the freighter. Wait. Yeah, don't forget, you can also convert to the cargo variant. The special freighter. Or you can increase the passenger capacity. With a stretch upper deck. K11, anyone? Alright. Now for this one. The freighter. It's a fictional Federal Express livery. Outdated details. It's owned by Ezekiel Gamer. Yes, and I've asked to paint it in this reference. The Flying Tigers, before start, stopping here to this Federal Express. Hmm. Somewhere it's misaligned. Okay. Either way, let's check the... Yeah. Alright, you can convert this from the Special Freighter to the Freighter, but... What kind of logic is that? Yeah, it's just... Yeah, this is... This outdated. Oh, it's moved towards... Forward. Yeah, moved forward. Alright. So the engine... You can... Retain the Prime 1997. Of course, Rolls Royce RB211, 4C, the General Electric CF650. Hmm, can you, as a freighter, can you, can, can you, is it possible to put the CF680? Okay. Or was that, was that 80 or 90? Or 8 or 9? It's always, you got your clean or high frequency antennae, and all right. On Windows, you have an option A, you've got an option B, you want all the windows, so A, here B, all the windows, or none at all. And also the hub exit door, there's no both, so it's either the right or the left. And here's your Boeing 747-200 freighter. Alright, let's teleport to Valois. A new cycle. Let's go back. With which craft can we use? Hmm, this... The poly of two... It's a brand new one. I want to trade for some aircraft. Ming Cheng. Hey. All right, A three twenty Neo. Let's make this quick. I don't know what the font of blue looks like, so we'll take a guess. Or not. And aircraft gray? That's only for the horizontal stabilizers. 320. Let's buy this A320 Neo. And behold the advanced customizations. As always, like normal A320, you want a SATCOM, same place. You want the external or internal, external internal, like the A319 Neo, and other member lesser fam current action families, solar mask, metal frames. So cockpit windows, UPG airspace, or standard. You can notice the difference there. The wing root. You want standard. 
or this one here, the multifunctional runway lights. So you've got standard multifunctional. So the lights here, pretty multifunctional, and uh, is this one of the light or these runway lights? And you can also change the engines from the PW1100G or the Leap 1A. So here's the Front Whitney, here's the Leap, the Front Whitney, and the Leap. So if it's in straight up response, though, we can use the front, we'll return to the Front Whitney. And here's your A320neo. After how many cycles? All right, what was missing? 747, 8i, <laughs> the Intercontinental. All right, so we choose Lufthansa or Korean. Here's Lufthansa, Delta Dash, Old for Bravo, Yankee Alpha, or this one, the Hotel Lima, 7633. Right, what do you think of the Korean? Could this be big, bigger? And here's another Korean, but <laughs> this is probably an older submission. This is way bigger than normal. This could be smaller. This one is obscure. It's probably the artist's signature. No text on the landing gear door, the nose doors. And here is Lufthansa. This looks almost perfect. Right, we'll use this Lufthansa for our conversion. <laughs> no, 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 we're not converting this to cargo. We'll customize it. So you have SATCOM A and SATCOM B. So option 1A is behind the third doors. Option 2A is right here between the fourth and fifth on the tail area. And your 1B is above the fourth doors. So let me compare the plane here. It's one is behind the third and above the fourth. So it's 1A, 1B. And if it's 1A, this should, you think, this should be gray. According to the real plane though. But here is your 747 A-Ninja Continental. Sell good. Let's purchase. And I guess that's about it for the 747s. That's a lot of 747s variants. So, 100? Your convertible to the 100, the, the stretch upper deck. Look at your difference. Stand in your special freighter. Now for the 200, normal B, and the special freighter. There you go. Not to be confused with the combi. And 
and parsing the slight increase of range between the special freighter and the pure freighter. And your stretch upper deck is set to 4 KLM. So, significant changes. Increasing capacity, and it costs lose some range. And for the 300, there we go. It's special freighter. Some doors of good compromise there. And finally, your 400. So, let's compare the stats. 400, the converted freighter. And the pure freighter. Yeah, you should. Yes, this 400 freighter should be sold at a dealership for logical reasons. And the same goes for the earlier variants. Finally, we'll be looking at the Dream Lifter. And I should have one. It's called hmm, the World Cruiser. What do you think of this quality? This, what do you think of this Dream Lifter livery? The other one I saw has a larger logo. It's inconsistent with the real aircraft, but it has the Atlas Air labeling. Something inside? Oh, there's nothing inside. Is that Meihua, the pseudo Taipei Songshan? And wait! Where's the advanced customization? Are there advanced customization here? Oh, yes, there isn't. Yeah, it's just the. <laughs> well, we'll come back to this green lifter. Let's first teleport to Harden. And there's an easier way worth. Well, we were at Harden with the Lufthansa. Huh. Alright. We'll just use this instead. An Atlas Air. The 400. What do you think? Almost perfect? Yeah, this is prompt with the engines. November 480, Mike Charlie. Right, back at Harden, we've overlooked this new boat, the Elstrom Elan Plus. Unlimited hydroplane. So, color one, body, color two. Fins, color three is flat. These flat things here. Let's make a quick purchase. What can we customize it with? The 
we want an elongated intake, this one here, or an alternative, round, trapezoidal, you can also change the spoilers to stock or alternative, so you lost your color too. Here's the stock, the color 2, or alternative, it's blends in with the color 1. And there's your Elan Plus. Okay, what are we missing? Alright, let's. Let's go to Tulsanai airfield. Oh, I have a lot of Tulsanai. Let's use this Konishi. And now look at this. It's blue rarity. Costs 10,000 wings points. It's even rarer now. <laughs> Good thing I was able to buy one before. And, and if you know what the Imperial Japanese Navy colors. Color one. Let's throw on some kind of dark green. Something like this. Then color two is the bottom, so it could be white. And then color three. And then the wings and horizontal stabilizers. Around this should be more darker though. The R2 Y2. Kaun Kai. And it's single engine. <laughs> Same color scheme. It's also moved from Kaisboro. As said before in the update notes. All right, the A319. Let's see about the A319. Okay, so Captain Flyer painted me this A319 with Lufthansa City. Uh, a probable successor to Lufthansa City Flyer? Hmm, this could be changed to Eurowings. Uh, does it? Because it's only for a few cities in Germany, but not Berlin. I might change it to your wings. But what do you think of this? Lufthansa City. Sehr gut? Ausgezeichnet? Critical details are there. Do you think the arrows appear in the real aircraft? Alright, so it's uh, Delta Dash Alpha Bravo Golf Hotel. You think it's better in your wings? Because <laughs> they have A319s that fly to or from Berlin. But, alright, so what's the visual change here? The, the blades. Now for the normal Airbus A321, and to note, this hasn't been model remodeled just yet, and with good reason. This is intended to be American Airlines. Just look at this registration. And this one here, it's a uh, 9933. It's uh, Philippine Airlines. Good thing I've. I was able to do the, both of these before its potential release in the future. One American, one Philippine, or it can be other countries too, but these are my priorities. It doesn't have to be the same registration. Oh, this is, yeah, X version America, I guess? Hmm? Yep. 
Next Ferguson American, then it's Alaskan, and then delivered to American. Right, A321. So it has a Philippine Airlines delivery, it's a 909 or 18. Matching engines, winglets, and and it's just, will this have a, on both sides, probably in the future, but there should be on the board the, a few, with with the logo on both sides. Right, I think you could notice it's, so the registration is a bit misaligned, don't you think? And yes, it, this should be more brighter. The flag. Uh, Hmm. Yeah. Do you think this could have more red on it? Uh, no, not more red. I mean, this could be more brighter to be consistent with the the vertical stabilizer, the winglets, and yeah. or it's just it's always like that. But the A three twenty one has uh, extra thirteen kilometers. So what was the original range without customizations? It says here, it, the stall speed used to be 147. All right, so CFM International, it's... And if that's the case, it's been changed from 100, it's changed to 135. Let's check, uh, what was that? Was it Selah? Hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll check the database. It's faster that way. So it's from 135. I was right. So it's... So it's improved from 147 to 135. That's quite an improvement there, but... Is there any reason? Is it... Compared with the A320, 124. So, comparison, the CO, NEO, CO, NEO. Uh, A321, potential. Acid dispersion, and also the a319. Just for the base, without any much customizations there. And as I was recording, I was given some badges the first time I went to the version 1.153 server, and due to recording issues, I think the, I think I found the reason for that. It's I have so many videos on my capture folder. Maybe that would have been the cause. And I just moved all the recorded ones to another folder. I think it works. Now then, where's the Dwarf There, there's still the Europa. And look here, we've got, uh, here it is, the bottom pylon. Uh, there's no fuel tanks for the inner, for the, for the <laughs> pylons, but, all right, so bottom pylon, no change, fuel tank, just increase in range. No compromise? Come on. At least get some compromise. Decrease the speed, decrease the stall. The Soko J what is it Dwa A or any variant. J twenty two A. The N J what is it Dwa? Cosmetic.
And I think that's about it for the updates. We'll just end this video with the Dream Lifter. It's at Meihua. The World Cruiser. Alright then. Back at Meihua, the pseudo type of Chan. Let's enjoy the the ending here on rainy pseudo type Pei Chan with this dream left there. And I'll see everyone on the next Aeronautica video. Xie in Saichen. Twenty ten.